So the purpose of a strategic plan, first and foremost, is to provide a high level roadmap. Okay? Um, it should guide resource allocation so that, for instance, as you're working, once you have adopted a strategic plan, if you've got stuff <coughs> in your CIP that has no connection to the strategic plan, then the question is, well, why are we doing it? If we said these were the things that were important to us, why is this here? Okay? Or vice versa, if this is really important for us, why <coughs> isn't it in the strategic plan? Right? Because what you wanted to be able to say is, you know, in our strategic plan, we said this was important, and so this is an area we ought to be investing in. Whether it's investing in people, time, money, energy, community organizing, whatever it might be. Um, another purpose is to, is to establish accountability. For you all as a governing board, once you have a strategic plan, then that ought to be what you're looking for city government to do. And you will have the perfect right to say, well, what have you done on this? Show me, right? Let's measure these things and let's come back and say, yes, we moved the needle. Um, it should help you track progress. And ultimately, it should also help you tell your story. So that you should be able to say to the community, this is what we've done. You know, we said we were going to do it. We said this was important. And we went out and we worked on it. And this is the progress we've made. And this is, this is the further, further progress we have to make. So the document that you have in front of you, and you have two documents, okay? This is the draft strategic plan. And this is in the plan. So this isn't, a, you know, it's, it's also inside here. But this is just kind of a one page, one page very high level summary of, of the plan, if you will. So the way the plan is organized, there's, there's a preface that just sort of tells you how it came about. Um, there is a summary, and that's a three page, very high level overview that just lays out vision, mission, uh, values, goals, and objectives. Then you go into the detail. There's a little background on Newport News. There's, um, there's a little strategic overview that has the mission, vision, values, and a high-level narrative about the strategy. And then the guts of it is strategic priorities, goals, and objectives. And that section also has, for each objective, it has some strategies of how that might be implemented. Um, and it has some measures. So how would we measure effectiveness? How would we measure whether we're making progress on these objectives? And again, it's all still draft. So, so that's the way the document is structured. Okay. So now if we move on into the content of the document. Um, May I ask a question yeah. before you go? Sure. In this circle where you have shared leadership model for city government, what in the center of this circle is that city management and quality government? Are okay. you going to go that? Um, I hadn't planned on it, but but we can. Um, well, I mean, I yeah. Want to put the so, I don't know if we were going to do that. Okay, that's fine. No, don't worry about, about it. I'll, I'll, well, I'll, no, no, I'll, 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 I'll give you a read it, and I'll find questions. Well, so go ahead. I'll listen. I won't read it. <laughs> no, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, just, don't worry about it. The, so, don't worry about it. It's something we're going to print at this, but. <coughs> yes. Um, just, to, just to enable you to read the chart, this little group of stuff down here in the lower corner right. goes with the center, if that helps any. But the, the center circle is black. Goes with the white donut around the black. All these items down here in So the idea behind the shared leadership, the shared leadership model was okay. instead of individual departments working in silos, there were a variety of areas where there was real benefit to departments working together and collaborating on, on bringing things about. And that there were some logical groupings, if you will, 
where groups of departments ought to be working together on a pretty regular basis. Okay. And, and so, go ahead. I was just gonna say, this is something I had mentioned to you before and then last year as part of the budget. I don't mean to oversimplify it, but it's simply said, yeah, there is no issue in the city of Newport News that we shouldn't all own as your leadership team. If we have a problem with crime, it's just as much Lisa's problem as it is the police chiefs, as it is Florence, as it's a fire chief. We all need to take responsibility for every single issue in this city. And there seemed to be some way to categorize those. And for the first time during this last budget process, I didn't meet with individual departments. As they're set up in teams, they sat down and they had to come to me, how are you working together yeah. on what you're presenting on your budget? And then we gave them the opportunity to say, this is something we want to do together as a new initiative and go for money based on something that we could measure and was results for. But the simple thing is no more public works just gets to, is on their own with issues. It's all of our issues. If engineering has an issue, everybody on my senior executive leadership team has a responsibility to engage and help come up with a solution. And as far as the strategic plan goes, that's in the background section because that isn't new to the strategic plan. That is is what what your your current leadership team has been working on implementing now for a couple of years. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, first real, if you will, substantive piece of the strategic plan is is the vision and. The proposed vision, a diverse and prosperous waterfront city of science, technology, innovation, and art, where people come together as a vibrant, inclusive community. And so this was, was this is bringing in some new words that weren't part of it before. And it's an attempt at capturing a vision is aspirational. So this isn't saying that this is the brand promise you are living up to today. This is saying this is what we want to be when we grow up. This is what we're trying to get to, to where if I tell people that this is what Newport New News is, they say, yeah, absolutely. That really brings true. Okay? So it's aspirational. Now the mission. Where, where the vision is aspirational, this is what we want to be, the mission is essentially a purpose statement, okay? So this is looking at the purpose of city government, if you will, is to enhance the quality of life in the city of Newport News for current and future generations to thrive. And I can tell you that at one point that was much longer, and then came back, and it's kind of been like a, not a yo-yo, well, maybe a yo-yo this way, whatever. Um, reactions? Well, times have changed, and people used to think a mission used to have to be like a full page ad and realizing you just have to hit straight to the point. And, and you want to make it so that people, if they can remember it, they'll feel a part of it more. Yeah. And so, and, and, and when they feel a part of it, they were to manifest what we set out or put in their path. Shall I move on? So the next piece in the document is values. And remember all those plans that I looked at? I ended up, when I pulled all the value statements out of all those different plans, with a list of about, I don't know, 15 maybe values. And we culled it down to the ones that seemed the most relevant to city government as a whole. And in this case, the intent was to define the values that would guide decision making. So it's not, you know, we're gonna be nice to each other, the way we behave to each other, but more, how, how are you manifesting as an organization, okay? Um, and, and so what we ended up with was community engagement, opportunity for all, creativity and innovation, and stewardship. And, you know, we have descriptions then of what we really mean by that. 
the, the, uh, the, the helix sculpture in uh, Works Crossing that we're talking about. And it's the uh, light show at City Center, and it's the fireworks display at City Hall. None of those things relate directly to any of these other stated values, but they are things that we do because we think they're fun. We dress up the lions. It's nice. It's also fun. But but they dress up the lions very tastefully. They do not put Rudolph noses on the lions. <laughs> but maybe they this could. year you should. Yeah. Wish right? yeah. Maybe this year it's Rudolph noses and antlers, right? Um, yeah. And or elf hats instead of very tasteful reeds, right? Um, I like the sweater. The ugly, the ugly sweater. sweater. I've yeah. already. Know who I'm going to get to. So, <laughs> think about that in terms of if you add fun as a value, and I can tell you that there there isn't there aren't vast amounts of fun in the strategic plan right now. And it would be great fun to add it, um, but you would be making a commitment to actively try and infuse fun in. Everything you make a decision on. I vote yes, but I don't have a vote. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I say this role is to give advice, right? I'm just still thinking. It's to add to it. The last couple State of the City videos display fun. Yeah. Us and that, uh, you know, being fun, having a good time, celebrating. Oh. They made me, they they made me it. think it's an auto. <laughs> <laughs> so how do we? I don't know if I'm going to add fun. Yeah, add it. And the CIP may not be fun, but not that we really do a lot of times get fun. And I think that's why I'm having so much trouble. Like, like, I, 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 it doesn't always have to be fun. Yeah, yeah I, I agree with you, Peter, but, but I think, but I'm glad you're saying it, and I'm glad we're here today because I'm just talking about, for me, you get so used to thinking that, you know, go government in so many years is that serious. people think it's boring, serious. You, you, people can, don't even laugh. And so you can get stuck in that. Yeah, and I think that's where I am when you're talking about the fun, you're like, wait a minute. Because and then you're thinking about when people see it and say, oh, wait a minute, they having fun. They're not supposed to be having fun. We're, gonna, we're not reelecting that. You know, so I'm just telling you what my mind is when you say it, even though I'm receiving what you're saying. I'm just telling you where I am. But, but I believe in change. So, sorry, would, would you be willing to help write the descriptor of fun? And that's what I was going to suggest. If, if you do the descriptor of what you just, just described as fun, might be helpful. And I just, you know, to enjoy the process of government in a unique and joyful way. I mean, just as a start, just as something. That needs to be put in words, and I think we can get back to fun a whole lot easier, easier if we describe it, what it means to you. And he made it's kind of like, 10 miles away. No, no, it's I kind of like, describe, like trying to describe love. It's like, well, I say love, we all know what it means, but it's all highly personal. Yeah. I say fun, we all know what it means, but it's highly personal at the same time. I would say, if you put that in, say, say fun, if you say, we as a community believe in the value of fun. To, to that, yeah, that serious work has to be done, but there's a, there's a time for there's also a time for laughter and simple pleasure, yeah. and simple enjoyment of and there's your word enjoyment, the simple enjoyment uh, of of a smile. That those represent legitimate goals for us as the leaders in the community to actively pursue in the work that we do. Okay, Peter. So we as a community believe in the value of fun. Serious work has to be done. We also believe in the value of laughter and smiles. That those are legitimate objectives in the work that we do, and we as a community will actively pursue those. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm riffing. We also believe in the value of laughter and smiles. smiles. We're back those, to the full page. <laughs> I know, right? Those are legitimate <laughs> objectives in the work that we do. Would the word love be included? No. I don't, That's, I don't know that about 
one thing at a time. <laughs> <laughs> and we as a and we will actively pursue we get in, we get in the way. Yeah. those outcomes. I think it's just giving you space. I think you need the word benefited somewhere. That you actually look at this as a benefit. In the, in the value and benefits of laughter and smiles, and those are legitimate objectives. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Yeah. 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 And we will actively pursue like the, these outcomes. Like it basically gives you room to do this stuff. Yeah. And it says that, you know what, yes, of course we're about the serious stuff, but we're also about something else. I don't know if anybody can follow my scribbles up there, but <laughs> I think it needs to be a city by that. We as a city? Well, uh, the city, the, to me, city is a, is a legal definition. <laughs> Community is us. Well, and maybe.